recognizing the prompting of the Holy Spirit when you're making decisions as a leader, as a church leader, Christian leader in one form or another, I think is one of the most difficult things we have to do. Um, and I find it particularly uh, difficult because of the complexity of many of the issues that come my way. There is always pressure. One of the things I'm finding in my own role is the number of people who are trying to persuade you to take a view one way or the other on something. And um, it's a rule of thumb that on the whole, uh, it's probably wrong at times, but quite, uh, most often the main lobbying groups won't be right. So the first rule is don't just do what someone says you should do. I always start with a lot of reflection on scripture. What's the Bible telling me? If my sense of what I should do doesn't fit with that, then I'm wrong. And it, it's very, very straightforward that. But more often than not, there's a sort of open space where there's a number of different decisions. And so you're falling back partly on um, your understanding of theology, of the nature of God and how he works in the world. Um, you're guided by principles in Scripture, but you've still got a lot of open space where you've got a choice. So what's the Holy Spirit saying? How do you discern what is genuinely the voice of the Spirit? Another thing that I'm very reliant on is putting together teams and challenging. Sometimes it's very, very structured. I had a number of big decisions earlier this, um, uh, uh, earlier this year and um, we had um, what we called uh, a strat team. That's a strategy team meeting. And I got two people, one to argue one way, the other to the argue the other way, seven and a half minutes each by the clock, and then 15 minutes of discussion between them and those of us who are listening, and at the end we made a decision. And what was really, it was, so it's very, very structured form of arguing the toss between two ways of thinking about it. What was very striking about that was on both occasions, it was very quickly obvious what we should do. And just bringing out all the issues and putting on the, them on the table, you began to see this is, this, this is where we're going. This is the right way to be going. I very seldom make decisions purely on my own. I don't think that's a New Testament principle. And I think it's very dangerous because I'm extremely conscious of my infallibility. I can be tired, I can be angry, um, I could be in a hurry, I could have prejudices or short-sightedness that leads me to missing the main points in a decision. So to sum it up, I think I'd want to say the Bible, a lot of prayer, always working with others and listening very carefully and not putting yourself above them. And not being too swayed by pressure from a particular group that feels very strongly about something. Everybody tells you what they're saying is what God's saying. It's not always the case. That's probably how I approach these things.